YouTube. This is Sine with GardeningVids.com bringing you another uh, tutorial. Today my my worms arrived. They came in a little bit early. I wasn't expecting them for a couple of days. So I'm having to kind of scramble to get things set up. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is create a composting worm bin. Uh, actually two ultimately, but I'm going to start with one. Um, and use the castings in my raised bed and my wicking gardens and you know for, for my plants. So here's a, a quick tutorial on how to do that. First of all, I took and purchased a big block of coconut core. Um, now this is pretty rigid. You simply add some water and it becomes this really fine, moist um, material. The worms are going to love that. Now I added, uh, for, for about a third of this block, I added one whole bucket plus about two-thirds of another and it puffed up and created all this. I have taken and shredded some newspaper and I'm going to um, build the bin into this bucket okay which I have not done anything with. It's just like this one uh, we're just going to drill a few holes in this. Now for this I'm going to use standard drill bits I've placed that in my drill motor and I'm going to drill like three or four holes down here three or four holes down here I'm going to cover that with cloth so that they can't escape, but it is going to allow the moisture to seep out in the event I get it too wet in there. So okay, so I'm just going to take my, I actually I have the smallest drill bit possible here. I'm just going to drill like three or four holes down here. I am drilling it on the smallest or the, rather the, the lowest point on the bucket. Okay, I'm drill four more down here. Now it will be important for me to cover the holes, even though they're tiny, they are going to have babies, and baby worms are even smaller than adult worms, obviously, and baby worms might be able to get out of that. So I've got them in here, this is how they come, and thank you Uncle Jim for sending the worms. Okay, and what I'm going to do is take his advice. There's a video that he's put out there um, about how to cause the worms less stress when you first get them. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to get my tape and my uh, cloth and I'm going to get this covered and I'll be right back. One quick note, uh, they were shipped with a couple of pieces of newsprint down in here and I'm going to shred this and put it in here. And I know that there are people out on the internet that say you should not use uh, colored ink. And I would like to let you know that this is newsprint and the ink that they use on these type of um, uh, circulars is soy based so it shouldn't harm the um, worms at all so feel free anything that comes um, delivered to your paper or delivered to your doorstep by the newsboy uh, is safe to use okay for this next step I've just taken an old washcloth that's clean and I've cut it into a couple of strips that are pretty small they'll fit right down over the hole holes that I drilled and you notice that I did drill them all in a line so there's both of those laid down. I'm just going to tape these down before the next step. Okay, so here the next step is complete. As you can see, I've taken that washcloth and I've taped it down using some duct tape. Now, obviously this is not ideal, uh, but my shade, my weed cloth has not yet arrived um, and my worms have, so i got to give them a place to be. So what I'll do is I will replace each side when I do the casting harvest Okay, so that's the next step. Now I'm going to build the bed. And basically what I'm going to do is take this really rich uh, coconut cur, which as you can see, if I squeeze, can you see this? Uh, I'm getting a drop or two, but that's all I'm getting. It's not running, uh, you know, it's not flowing over my hand. It's really, uh, it's damp, it's moist, but it's not too moist. This is a really good place you want to be. So I'm just going to take and put this into this bucket. I'm going to fill it up to about right here, okay, and then uh, I'm going to take my shredded newspaper, put it in, and I'll check back in with you.
nice good bed for them. So I'm just going to take my worms and open this bag. They've been pretty stressed by everything that's going on, so I'm going to try not to add to that. <laughs> did warn me you know that traveling does stress your worms so I don't know if you can tell they're pretty lethargic they're not going to move around quite a bit uh, and that's normal just give them a minute to acclimate one thing I am going to do is I'm going to move this into the Sun a minute to kind of drive them down into the dirt so they can find their new home See, they really don't like sunlight, so they're going to be heading, heading south. Okay, it's been a few minutes, and as you can see, most of the worms have headed south. I can still see a couple, you know, right up here. He's moving kind of slow, and that's fine. Um, I'm now ready to take the next step, which is to take my newspaper and kind of give them some shade over here. Now, the newspaper does a couple of things. It allows them to come up to the surface to feed on the material that I'm going to put in here and it still protects them you know from the light. Worms really like it dark. I'm also going to wet this down so it's going to be like a moisture barrier for the guys. It's going to hold the moisture in down to where they need it. So I'm just going to sprinkle some water across the top. I'll be right back. Okay for this next step I've gone in and got my compost. Now as you can see um, I tend to break things down pretty small. The smaller it is, the easier it is for them to eat. Um, even when I'm cutting salads, I go through and I, I go ahead and give this a little extra chop, the stuff that's going to go in here. Now, because my worms came early, I wasn't quite expecting them. I don't really have a whole lot of food for them. Now, that's okay because they've been traveling. They're not in a real big hurry. They're going to take a while to get acclimated, so I'll have time to build some up. But in the meantime, I thought I'd add, I've got some stale breadcrumbs. I thought I would add some of that as well to kind of help, you know, get them jump started into the getting acclimated. So now the secret to worm gardening is to divide this up into six zones. And each time you feed them, you feed them in a different zone. This will cause them to migrate to where the food is each time, causing them to go through the dirt. Now I'm going to start in this right hand corner and I'm just going to pull the little sunshade back. And I'm going to dig down a little bit, okay, and I'm going to drop some of the food right on top, okay. So I'm just going to add the breadcrumbs. So this will help them with their gizzards, help them digest. And then I'm going to put my compost right here in this same corner, pull this back over, and then put their shade back on. So that's it. Right now they'd really probably like me to leave them alone. So I'm going to put their lid on. And uh, we're going to call it good. Now, this is not the lid that goes on here. I'm going to need to drill some holes and put some more shade cloth. Uh, so for right now, I'm just going to cover them, so get them dark, help them relax. And I'm going to take and cut holes in the other lid back here. Uh, and then replace it when I'm done. So okay, here's the finished lid. I've put a few holes in here. They're about a half inch around. That's going to provide good oxygen. But they don't like light, if you'll recall. And again, my shade cloth is in here. So what I'm going to do temporarily is just take a dark cloth, fold it over in half, and cover the holes, and I'll tape this down. Again, I'm not worried about them escaping. They can't climb up um, to, to get out, but uh, I do want to keep it from the wind blowing it off. So let me tape that on, and then that's, that's the last step. That's the worm bin. Okay, there it is all taped down just to keep the wind from picking it up and blowing it off. Uh, just going to store it on the bottom shelf and let them get busy making worm castings for me. Tuned, and next time we'll cover uh, setting up the raised bed garden. I've got the area almost cleared. It's all good to go. Um, my 
blackberries arrived today again ahead of schedule so I've got to get those in PDQ I've just dropped them in a couple of little pots for now so this is Sine for Gardening Vid signing off till next time and uh, we'll see you then bye now thank you Uncle Jim's worms look great